For students at Gates Chilai High School just outside of Rochester, New York, spring break has just begun. And like every year, the older students are headed to Myrtle Beach. It's a trip 17-year-old Brittany Drexel has been planning for weeks. She was just the life of the party. She was very into having fun. <sighs> she was very popular. Her smile was contagious. Her laugh was contagious. She could have been a model. Brittany was very excited to go on spring break. It's fun when you're 17, 18, 19 years old to, to be in Myrtle Beach. She had it in her mind that she wanted to go to Myrtle Beach, and I told her, you're not going. I got a phone call from Brittany's mother saying, you need to talk to your daughter. She's talking about going away with her friends. She wants to go to Myrtle Beach. She kept asking me if she could go to Myrtle Beach, and of course, I kept telling her no. She said, Mom, can I please go to Myrtle Beach? And I said, no, Brittany. And she says, why, Mom? Nothing's going to happen to me. And I said, something's going to happen to you. That Wednesday, the 22nd of, of April, she asked me, she said, can I stay at a friend's house? I said, as long as I speak with the parent, that would be fine. You know, because it was her spring break. While Don thinks Brittany is heading to a friend's house, Brittany sneaks away to Myrtle Beach. Driving 14 hours with a group of teens, some who she barely knows. Also in Myrtle Beach, 20-year-old Peter Brozowitz, a friend of Brittany's from Rochester. On Friday night, Brittany, Peter, and the others party at Myrtle Beach's Club Kryptonite. Back in Rochester, New York, Don Drexel still has no idea her daughter is in Myrtle Beach. Next day, Brittany decides to meet up with Peter Brozowitz once again and walks to his hotel around 8 p.m. Peter Brozowitz is staying down the strip from Brittany at the Blue Water Resort, along with four friends ranging in age from 19 to 25. To get there, it's a 30-minute walk. It was a long walk. I'm surprised my sister ever walked that because she never liked to walk. A traffic camera captures Brittany as she's on her way. It's really tough to make it out, but you could see it was Brittany. She was on her phone at that time, about 8.15, and it looked like she was texting. Around 8.30 p.m., Brittany arrives at the Blue Water Resort, but only stays for a few minutes before leaving around 8.45 p.m. to walk back to her hotel. She was there and on her way. You see the video of her going in, you see the video of her going out, and that's the last you see of her. 